I'm going to go through a few problems from the Math 3 Unit 9 Worksheet 1. Evaluate e expression uh, using the what power function. The first three have been completed for you. And um, if we look at number one, <coughs> the reason what power base 5 of 25 is equal to 2 is because um, this is asking the question 5 to what power is 25 and we can see that that power should be 2 so the answer to all these questions is going to be a power and therefore that's why we call it the what power function so in number 4 that's asking 2 to what power is 32 and if you consider the powers of 2 uh, 2 to the first, 2 to the second, 2 to the third to the fourth, to the fifth, you find that two to the fifth power <coughs> is thirty-two. So my answer is going to be five. Number seven is asking the question four to what power is sixty-four? Four to the first power is four, four to the second power is sixteen, four to the third power is sixty-four. So x equals 64, so we, sorry, x equals 3, and so our power is 3. Number 10 is asking the question 5 to what power is the square root of 5? Whenever you have a square root or a cube root or some kind of root, you're going to be working with a fractional exponent. So that here uh, the root is 2, invisible 2 the power of 5 is 1, so this is really 5 to the 1 over 2, and so x is 1 half. 13 is asking the question, 42 to what power is 1? Well, anything to the power of 0 is 1, so that's 42 to the power of 0, so answer is 0. <coughs> or 16 is asking the question 3 to what power is 1 third. If you're working with a fraction you can like if you have 1 over a number that's the same as well this is 3 to the power of 1 we can move it to the top part of the fraction by making it 3 to the power of negative 1 and so x is negative 1. Number 19 asking the question 7 to what power is 49 and that's 7 squared 22 is asking the question 0 to what power is 7 <coughs> um, 0 to any power is 0 not 7 and so there's no solution to this <coughs> 25 is asking the question, negative 3 to what power is 27? Well, negative 3 to the power of 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 to the power of, n of 2 is positive 9. Negative 3 to the power of 3 is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, which is negative 27 negative 3 to the power of 4, we get positive 81, and uh, we see that we get close, we get negative 27, not positive 27, so this is not going to work out for us, so again we got no solution. <coughs> 